Alright, hey everybody, so today I'm going to be going over all of the unique rocket launchers in the Borderlands 2.5 mod, just like I did with uh, the pistols and the assault rifles already. So, first we're going to start off with the uh, bandit rocket launchers. So you have the Helix and the Perseus. So, you see they both got bandit rocket launchers. Generals have a slow fire rate, slow reload, and then a high mag size. So you see the helix here, fires three rockets, and they kind of fire in a helix pattern. And you can see it firing twice there, that's just because bandit parts have a chance to fire twice, and it just happens to be really high on this gun. Yeah, you can see it travels in the like triangle there, and it spins as it goes. Yeah, so that's the helix. And I actually do need to be, I need to buy rocket launcher ammo. So the Percy's here. Uh, slightly different stats, just the accuracy is a little different, mag size is a little different. But you can see it's got 18 rockets here. Yeah, you can again see that double shot there, but yeah, 18 rockets. Uh, and also this one does not always spawn with the bandit barrel here. This can change, which will change your stats. Yeah, so that is bandit launchers on to the Malawan ones. So I've got Supernova, Shooting Star, and I've got two different Shooting Stars just because I want to show something off with that. And then I've got the Hyper Beam. So the Supernova is going to fire laser beams. Yep, you can see the laser beams right there. It's going to fire those like, a, like an E-Tech sniper rifle. And you see those lasers do fire damage or whatever element you have on your launcher and then the Nova's there do uh, explosive damage. So that's the Supernova and that has a very high splash radius so try not to kill yourself. So the shooting star here, I'm gonna go outside, it has, it, it fires these rockets here that travel uh, and they, like, as they travel, they drop and explode several times. As you know, this is not fire locked like the pyrophobia is. This can come in any element, even non elemental. Yeah. And Malone parts increase rocket speed, so you can see it doesn't drop for a very long time after it fires. Whereas Torque parts, which slow down the f uh, rocket speed, See, it starts to fall almost immediately after firing it. Now, if you don't move fast enough, it'll actually hit you, and you'll die. So, you don't want your rockets to be too slow on this gun, or it will kill you. Alright, just let me respawn here. I see. So yeah, that is the shooting star. So on to the hyper beam, and this one fire. It's always shock, and as you can see, it's got nine projectiles there and very high accuracy. It's gonna fire these nine E-Tech laser beams. Yeah, you can see nine laser beams there. But yeah, that is all for the Malawan rocket launchers. On to Torg. Alright, so first we got the Air, which is the pearlescent one, and this one, it consumes 3 armor per shot, which is quite a bit for obsession since you have such little rocket launcher ammo to begin with. You'll see it lobs a shot there that does a singularity, and then it explodes. So it'll pull enemies in before blowing them up. You see it does explosive damage when it hits. And the singularity itself does non-elemental damage. And then when it explodes, it's going to do explosive damage. And that should be the list of damage I got. Yep, the 9,611. Isaac's the uh, Yeet Cannon. And uh, it's got higher damage... 
and uh, reload speed, but a worse mag size to make up for that increased reload speed. But I'll fire these cannonballs, which have almost no splash radius really, so you see if I land it right there, it does not hit him. Yeah, uh, this weapon also causes knockback, which you can't really see that on the target dummy here, but it does have knockback built into it. Next is the Undertaker here. As you see, it's got a higher fire rate, but, uh, and, yeah, so it's got the higher fire rate and mag size for a Torg launcher. And what this one does, it fires in a three-round burst. Should have gotten a rocket launcher ammo relic, but it's okay. And next we have the Arnip, which you can see it's got the times three rockets there, and this weapon is corrosive locked. So what this one does is going to fire these three corrosive rockets, and that's and they tend to go above where the crosshair is aiming typically. So if you see. The crosshairs lined up with the top and bottom edge of the door here. And you see those went to well above the door. The center of the explosion seems to be about right there. So, uh, you do want to aim low when you're firing this because, see if I aim right at his head, the rockets actually go over him. And I killed myself again. Yeah, so that's the Arnet. We've got one more here. I'll just grab the last rocket launcher here as well. So the milkshake, you can see it's got six arrow for a shot. And then uh higher damage. I'm not sure why the respawn sound effect is playing. Yeah, so the 6 arrow per shot with only 5 ammo in the mag can be kind of bad, and you can see the terrible accuracy of it. When you fire, it's going to fire this one rocket, which explodes and splits into... How much is that? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 rockets. And I'm not sure what exactly that split distance is. Yeah, you see that rocket went to the floor over there, which is not in the least where I was aiming. So, with torque parts, because they slow down rocket speed, it does, it does split pretty close range. Yeah, you see right there, it did not split. It did not travel far enough to split on this guy. You see that one hit the wall. Now we'll hit the ceiling there. So yeah, the, the accuracy is kind of the big thing on this launcher. You can see that projectile split right there. Hit all of those rockets. So you're getting 8 times damage if you're at the right distance with this. It's especially easy to do against like really large enemies like uh, bosses and whatnot. Alright, and then for our last launcher here, it's the Armageddon. And I'm going to actually go outside for this one. See, it shoots rockets down as it travels. And I don't think these actually do self-damage. So I'm going to go and freeze time, move right here. Okay, so they do do self-damage, but uh, they do self-damage, but not that much. You see those rockets actually do more than the listed damage. So right there, 27, 29. Whereas if you land that bonus rocket, this is 32, 75. So that says right there. Yeah, so that is 
all of the unique rocket launchers in this mod here. And uh, I believe next episode I'll be covering all of the unique shotguns.